We are live from the trailer hood. I know it's been a minute, but we are back this evening before we get ready to head on out of town. Oh, man, what a day, what a day, what a day. Ain't done nothing. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a little bright here. What's this, what's this button right here do? Woo! Hey, hey there I is. Bright. It might run my old battery cable down there for a little bit. I don't know. Y'all can kind of see me. I'm bright. It's going to be a bright, bright, bright and sunshiny day. Ooh, dark again. Gonna be a bright. <laughs> anyway, I just figured that button out, man. I got a little bright, but like I said, it might run my battery down a little bit quicker than normal, but we shall see. So if I get cut off, I don't know how much percentile I had when I started this live feed, but if I get cut off, it'd rather be Facebook trying to shut me down or the juice gone. <laughs> how y'all doing today? I hope y'all had a good, uh, uh, I don't know, today is Monday, maybe? One of those days. It's got to end in a Y. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What about that, Paul? Eugene, Mike, what's up? Any which way, I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope the ones that uh, got time to spend with their family, I hope you was able to. The ones that didn't, I know it's hard time this time of the year uh, with everything that's going on. But on the bright side, I had a very, very merry, merry, very Christmas. <laughs> that was the first Christmas with the new honey. Oh. Uh, it was my first Merry Christmas. I heard that summer. Well, congratulations. Hope you made it through. And uh, I know it's the first one, but uh, if your husband is like me, you might be a little disappointed in the years to come, but just know he loved you the rest of the days of the years. Because <laughs> I am terrible. Uh, my brother, Coy Ellis, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so anyway, way feeling good, looking good, can't you tell? Oh boy. Uh doing great. It's my birthday, Jackie says. Well, happy birthday and a happy new year to you coming soon. Oh. If y'all know my brother C Roy, he wild. <laughs> So if y'all see Corey Ellis on here, y'all tell him, hey, I give him a thumbs, give him a blue thumb or a red heart. Uh <laughs> Uh, he's had a lot to deal with in life, you know. Getting whooped by me so many times. <laughs> Man, when I have troubles, I'll be like, Corey, help me. Help me. He's bigger than me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, man. What did somebody say something about them bath bombs? Oh, did you get any bath bombs? No, nah, I ain't get no bath bombs, man. I learned you got to put it in a, a hot cocoa mix. Oh, Ain't nothing like. I mean, people be taking pictures with their babies up in some hot chocolate. I figure, you know, I laid back. Oh, and a big old milk bar. Some baby marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway. Oh, yeah, it's been a while. I was telling uh, Stephanie earlier, I was like, man, it's been like a month since I've been live. And uh, basically, I'm just having a good time. <laughs> Just having a good time, man. Uh, I can't stay out of the trailer hood over there, man. God, no. Man, she's something. She's something, man. Oh, where are the pink glasses at? Well, she 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 took them back, man. She took my pink boots back. She took my pink glasses back. Oh, uh, so, but I'm covered up. I got me some green boots and I got me some green waders. So, other than that, man, we're having a good time. Like I said, Christmas was good. My boy was taken care of. Uh, first Christmas with the with uh, Stephanie was... Uh, Wonderful, and uh, she was very pleased with the rat shoes and the. And <laughs> I'm just lying. I'm just lying. I'm just lying. <laughs> oh, so no, man, we had a good time. What did I? What did I get her? She bad about getting on to me about my memory. I told my memory gone, man. I can't remember nothing. But oh, uh, man, what? I don't even remember. Give me a minute. I remember what I gave her. She had a birthday, man. She had a uh, uh, <laughs> she had a birthday like two or three days before Christmas. So uh, I went and got her some air rain. My buddy, uh, I got a buddy that owns a uh, gift shop here in town and uh, pedal pushers. And I went down there and I said, man, I got to have some birthday gifts. I said, you know, I had already bought what I thought was going to be the birthday gift. And I changed it up and decided to give it to her as a Christmas present. And so I went back, and I was like, I know she like earrings. She like them big earrings. They look good. And uh, 
So he showed me, and I seen the kind. He's like, what kind do you think she'll like? And I said, I don't know. So I just grabbed the whole rack. I just grabbed the whole rack off like right there and just pulled them. I said, wrap them up, cuz. <laughs> I said, I don't want to know. I don't want to know if she wore the earrings I bought her. Now, I get so many, I can't remember which ones she had. So I gave her a bunch of earrings and stuff for her birthday. And uh, and uh, we went out to eat and just had a good time. We loved to eat. We just sat there and watched each other. I mean, I, I mean, I don't chew my mouth open. <laughs> I'm just playing. Neither one of us does. Uh, so any which way, and then uh, Christmas we had a good time. Uh, my boy, we, my boy went over there, and we had a family family Christmas at her house. And and uh, like I said, her her mom's like uh, the Who's on Whoville when it comes to Christmas. Everything is decorated up, and uh, it was good. Uh, the uh, the the homemade decoration I made was still on the Christmas tree, so I was proud to see that she was still supporting the fact that I made something from the heart. <laughs> It didn't come from the coon heart, <laughs> but it come from my heart. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I took an old coon dangling and I striped it up with a red sharpie and turned it into a uh, not so lickable candy cane. <laughs> so, oh man! So anyway, right well, then Christmas come around, and I got my girl some good gifts, and I did. I got her a purse. I got her one a good purse. It was, I didn't know nothing about no hobos. I thought I was close thing to a hobo, but she got a hobo purse. So and. Uh, of course, she got me, you know, all kind of stuff, and, and, and me and my boy, but mainly it was about my kid, and we just had a great time, man. So, uh, that was our Christmas, and just family, and just being together, and went to see my uh, dad and them, and just, just had a good time, and, and uh, just like I said, this is, uh, I guess you would say this was a year, if you would, it just, you really miss family if you couldn't get together because of what's going on in the world, so maybe it just really drew you back to the fact of what the the reason for the season, I guess you would say, so, but other than that, we did have a good time, and I did do right, I didn't get the rat shoes, uh, you know, or anything like that. So I stepped my game up. It wasn't no more sweatpants and stuff like that. I really went in there and, and tried to hit a home run. And uh, hopefully with my stimulus package, <laughs> I get my money back. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh, so anyway, it, no, it was great. It was great. Like I said, we just had a good time. And I hope all y'all had a Merry Christmas. Like I said, whether it's not about the gifts, but like I said, uh, with the new honey that's just, I don't know, she's just, she's just, she's just, just, and it just, I just wanted to do right, so, anyway, I did right, so, anyway, and you know y'all, she was gonna do right by me, so, <laughs> so oh man, but anywho, we had a good time, and I hope y'all did too, so, happy new years, hey, what about that Joseph Miller, from Clay Cully, hey, Clay Gully Outfitters, that's where I killed, uh, my hog, and that's where I killed my, my, uh, gator, so y'all check out Clay Gully Outfitters, just go to their page and be like, yo, yo, and just cover them up with some yo, yo. <laughs> so, oh, man. Oh, man. The end of the January, get cheated out of, like December birthdays. Ooh, I need a, I know. Uh, come back and holler at us at Muddy Water Sports Bar. Man, come on with it. I can go. I'll come back. Uh, Justin said he needs him a female. <laughs> I can't get you a female. I can just give you a list of ones that not to fool with. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh, but uh, uh, should have made her a golden beaver pelt purse. I, well, uh, I was gonna get her some of them uh, beaver high heels. You know, I was gonna leave the beaver tail. I was gonna get her some high heels and put the beaver tails on the back of them. That way, when she walk, you know how y'all women, y'all be walking with them high heels, it'd be like. When she be coming, it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be slapping that beaver tail crowd. Oh, but anyway, oh, man, y'all got me turned up. <laughs> Someone said her $600 already spent. Well, I think, we, I think we might get that two grand. So who knows? Who knows? Like I said, I pay taxes and uh, I'll pay I'll, that two grand. It'll probably cost me 20000 for it's over with. But who knows? Who cares, man? Like I said, I put my faith in the Lord. And I uh, hope it all work out one way or the other. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, all the, Jeffrey said, all the way from Mississippi. Uh, I did. Uh, how do you say? Uh, I'm, I guess we're just going to keep talking about my girl because, uh, you know, a lot of y'all, that's all y'all ever ask about. And I and I show her off a lot because, I, uh, she, you know, uh, I just like her a lot. And I ain't gonna lie, I love her. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, she she had a birth, she had a Christmas with her friends the other day, like her uh, her real friends and uh, all her little girlfriends or whatever. And uh, I didn't go hunting the other day, and she seen I was back over her house when she, when she wasn't there, and she said, "Come on over, the girls won't meet you." So I went over there, and uh, I got interrogated by all them, 
and uh that was pretty fun so uh any which way so we had a good time with the girls <laughs> get interrogated by the best friends and uh i was always had an answer for everything so i'm prepared i, I do good under pressure that's not a problem uh, so oh uh, i appreciate appreciate that peggy I ain't, I ain't been this uh uh happy in a long long time so uh any which way, where's a cup of milk, Carol says. Well, I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going out of town for the next two days. I'm going to leave in the morning. I'm going to do a kid's hunt over in North Alabama, South Tennessee line. And uh, Outreach Outdoors got me over there. It's kind of like a special guest. And I'm going to go over there. So uh, I didn't get no milk tonight. Uh, I'm out. I didn't get none because I'm going to be gone for two days. So I'm going to go do that hunt as a special guest and kind of hunt with the kids over there. Or uh, they might be grown folks. I, I don't know. I'm not hunting. I'm just there to uh, just talk a little bit. And uh, I will do that just a little bit. So I'm going to do that. So I ain't got no milk. Matter of fact, I ain't got nothing but tap water in there. So, uh, hmm, And I don't like water. <laughs> I went to the doctor one time and said, man, we've got to give you an IV so dehydrate. I said, I don't like the taste of water. Don't give me nothing. So <laughs> they give you salt water. I don't understand. Uh, you go to the ocean and they tell you not to drink the salt water, but then they put salt water in your body. I, I don't understand. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. What about the Sabrina? What about the manual? Oh, Betty. So any which ways, man, other than that, I can't think of anything else I might have had going. Harlow's killed deer after deer after deer, I guess. Uh, he been laying down some, some I ain't been showing. <laughs> so, uh, want to be dad in law took him the other day, uh, hunting. I called and asked him, could he take him? I had to go do an event in Eupora at a, uh, little hunt over there and went over there to speak and uh he didn't want to go because like i said some of that stuff he just don't he don't care what i got to say no way so anyway i called want to be dead in law i said look man you mind if, if if harlow goes with you to deer hunt and uh, he's like yeah man bring him on so i took him over there next thing i know i gave him four shells and he come back with two deer no shells <laughs> so he laid them down and then I, like you said y'all seen the video where i took him another day and he shot one on the way to the stand so oh man so any which way uh uh Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. What about the David Perry? I see you, man. I see you. Oh, oh yeah, Tim. Well, I've seen them flying pad. I know why it's longer on one side because <laughs> there's more birds on one side. <laughs> uh, unless I'm shooting, it ain't going to be. Uh, they gave you milk in your IV. Shoot. Got me wanting some now. Oh, there's some other stuff I wanted to tell, but I can't remember what I wanted to tell, man. Oh. This more that how that wild meat. Hey, I tell you what, it's, it's been a little slow on trapping the hogs, and that's just because every deer hunter is out there feeding corn and stuff. So it's just hard to, you know, get them feeding in one spot or get them used to one spot area and coming. You know, and once deer season's kind of over, if that slows down, we'll go back to knocking heads as fast as we can. Oh, so I hope y'all like the knocking head part because that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Oh, man. What about that, Kelly? Uh, Miss Maxine. Uh, Wesley said he's from Oklahoma. I've been out there one time. David Perry said you back in the animal industry. I seen you. My dog Bella's supposed to be up there uh, January the 4th. She's going to get fixed. Got to calm her down. <laughs> so, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you. Hey, David Perry, I called up there the other day at Emerson Hospital. Emerson Vet Hospital in... Uh, I see. They answered the phone, and it was uh, oh God, Mickey's wife. I lost her. That Katie. This is so, anyway. She answered the phone. I said, I said, yeah. I said, this is David. I said, I need to get my dog Bella up there to get her fixed. She said, uh, uh, all right. She said, hold on a minute. And I heard her go do 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 do. And I guess she just actually did it. And I thought she put me on hold. So I was talking to the person in my in my office <laughs> or in her I was in her office talking. And I was like, yeah, I gotta get my dog fixed. She a hoe. <laughs> Katie went, no, she's not. <laughs> I said, I thought you had me on hold. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, anyway, <laughs> I just talk a mess. Oh, man. Uh, Bella ready to track and deer. Man, I can't get Bella on nothing, man. She, she, she'll pull out a beaver. But uh, I ain't had her no tracking, though. But I figured I'd, somebody would call and say, hey, you want your dog track one? I shot her, and it went about 100 yards, and she failed. I just, but no. So, and then Harlow shoots them and they just fall. So, ain't much tracking going on. Well, other than that, uh, sorry to hear that, uh, Kelly. Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Bubba, I appreciate that. 
So any who's, any who's other than that. Uh, I mean, I ain't been on in a month, but it seems like I've, I've told y'all everything I've been doing. Like I said, I've been doing a bunch of beaver trapping, and uh, uh, I got the opportunity to explain to a dude the other day uh, about beaver trapping. I was coming out, and we got a landowner, and he didn't seem too happy about me trapping on somebody else's land. And uh, and that was fine, because I get a lot of people that always want to hate, you know, and they always want to have a way of not saying they're not, they don't want me trapping over there, you know. And I told him I was beaver trapping, and he's like, well, how you keep them getting out of dog? How you keep them dogs from getting out of them? I was like, these folks ain't got no dogs. I mean, if you got dogs, and they keep them on your own land. But, I mean, don't get mad because I got traps over here on a piece of property you don't own. I mean, I didn't say that to him, but that's what I was thinking about it. But the whole time I was smiling at him. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, he was like, I was like, well, I said, I got these traps. They don't hurt their feet and all that. You know, I said, I got my dog down here. And uh, any which way, he said, uh, he said, and I said something. I said, well, I trap coyotes all the time. We sell them to the live market, and you can't, uh, can't have bad feet on them. You can't have broke legs, cut feet. They won't buy them. You know, they won't run right, and they want the dogs to run them. And uh, he said, you trapping coyotes? I said, no, I ain't trapping no coyotes. He's like, well, I got pet coyotes. I mean, I got pet deer feeding the backyard. I mean, if the neighbor shoots them, I mean, they ain't my pet no more, right? <laughs> so, I mean, that's all I can uh, Stop looking for a problem here, cuz, because I don't want none. <laughs> I ain't big enough, and I have to blow your kneecaps out. <laughs> Everybody won't be bad these days. Looking at a fellow with a good smile and talking to Jesus, and man... I have you on your knees praying. <laughs> you might not be praying to God. You might be saying, don't shoot me again. But you're going to be praying. <laughs> so anyway, which way. But in the end, I got an opportunity to kind of talk to the fella and teach him about, uh, teach him about trapping and showing what I got. Because a lot of people, a lot of times people just think they know what they're talking about. And really, they just like me. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to trapping, uh, I take it serious. So I know what what's uh, what I know what's going on. A lot of people just get their emotions and their feelings and the stuff like that involved, and and it's like life. Uh, facts are facts, truth is the truth, and emotions are usually you can go with your gut on things you need to, but you can't let your emotions get involved in something you don't know nothing about because you're going to pretty much be wrong most of the time. <laughs> Oh man! So any which way, <laughs> I don't even care. Oh, I'm just a bad man with a good smile. <laughs> it might not even be good if it fellow if his fellow watches this video. <laughs> I might I might have two missing. And call my brother. Hey, see, Roy, come get this man. Now, my boy did ask me. He said, "Man, what if that man would jumped on you?" I said, "Man, I had that conner bear trap, and I don't know if y'all know what a conner bear trap is. It's a trap. It's kind of like spring loaded. It opens up like kind of like a box." And it's got these two little things stick down. When a beaver goes in there, it slams down like a suitcase, kills them. And uh, I said, well, I guess I was going to keep that conner bear trap set. I said, if he'd have swung it, man, I'd throw that thing up, made him catch his hand. <laughs> I throwed it on his head. It... <laughs> uh, left him tied to a tree. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I just, I just want y'all to know. <laughs> I got a lot of people fooled with this smile. They think I ain't bad, but man, uh, I'd be like that dog on that Chevy Chase uh, vacation. <laughs> be drugged down the street. <laughs> oh, man. Other than that, <clears throat> oh, man. I need to have some hats made with Leroy. Oh, man. Uh, so other than that, man, uh, what else we got going on? I guess nothing. I'm just going to have a good time at this, at this hunt, and I won't have no service. So, Miss uh, <laughs> Vicky, my neighbor, she said, you're a crazy man with a beautiful smile. <laughs> oh, so I'll just be at this event. I won't have much service, but I'll be trying to video some stuff, and uh, when I get back, maybe I'll put it all together and uh, stuff like that. And uh, <laughs> Derek Eves. <laughs> hey, Derek. Uh, you better be glad. <laughs> You better be glad my tap stick was on the Ranger, not the back of that, not the back of that Yoda. <laughs> Oh no, man! Oh man! <laughs> oh, well, that y'all don't forget to look at my y'all y'all YouTube if you get a chance, you know. Uh, and then uh, also, I want to talk a little serious, just a little bit. Uh, y'all may have seen that if y'all watched my last couple of videos, I'm throwing my long little Facebook ad in there, and uh, I have one with Rick's Furniture. You know, I'd be like trapping, and all of a sudden, be like, bam, Rick's Furniture. You know, so <laughs> and uh. Anyway, kind of give y'all a little shout, give them a little shout out and help. You know, I'll be doing stuff with them. And then also today I did one that had actually had my girlfriend's work in it. And so, like I said, if, if, if it comes this time of year, we always talk about 
uh, I say we always talk about it. We always have relatives pass, and we think Miss Kelly just had her dad pass. I believe I read a while ago. And, you know, if we get our parents or grandparents get down, and we need somebody to love on them and somebody to be there for them because sometimes we just can't always be there. And uh, I just want you all to know, if you all are around in Alabama, I can't remember if they got them in Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi. It's called Legacy Hospice. They do have a Facebook page. If y'all need somebody to help during that time, uh, look up Legacy Hospice uh, of the South, I believe is what it's called. So y'all look them up, help out. You know, like I said, my girl works for that company. And as, uh, as sweet as she is to me, I can just imagine how sweet she could be uh, to y'all during the time of y'all's need and stuff like that. That's that's real talk. And uh, I just want, I want to give them a shout out. So Legacy Hospice uh y'all look them up like i said my girl works there and uh she's just good people it's good 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 nurses and uh just a good place to take care of people that y'all need during their time because i know it can be a struggle on many of y'all trying to help and stuff like that during that time and uh any which way we'll go on from there oh boy so what's up from the castle mountain upstate new york right here gina and chris oh man so uh other than that it's getting a little cool I got some more stories. Maybe I can go live when I get back and tell y'all some stuff. But uh, do I do any duck hunting? Uh, I don't right now, mainly because uh, ain't nobody called and asked me. <laughs> ain't nobody called and asked me. The only people that call and ask me to duck hunt is the people that ain't got ducks. <laughs> so, yeah. oh, so any which way, uh, Miss Becky, I'll be praying for. Matter of fact, Miss Becky, uh, Lord be with Miss Becky. Uh, did you smoke one before? No, I can't smoke nothing, Joshua. I can't smoke nothing. Uh, oh, man. So, any which way, that's all I got going. I'm going to get in here and get get dressed, uh, get showered up, and get my stuff kind of ready for to get on the road tomorrow. Be on the road a couple, three hours, and uh, get to see them kids. And, uh, man, we we'll just have a good time with them. Maybe to entertain. We're probably not going to kill anything in the stand that we in. Because we probably gonna cut up like we did last year when I did this event, and while we're at this event, uh, we got some surprise for them too. So, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I said, "Don't leave, tell a story." <laughs> so, man, I don't even know those stories, man. I mean, I know them, but oh, the other night, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend said, "She said so." I know y'all guys. You know guys. Y- y'all answer questions before, or maybe you answer questions before. You even got the whole question, or maybe you say "huh" after you, while you looking in your woman's face, and you say "huh," even though you heard it. Well, the night <laughs> we sit around, she goes, "Oh, uh, did did you uh, get the message about?" And then when she said "about," I said, "No." <laughs> she said, "You don't even know what I was gonna say." I said, "Well, I know you ain't sent me no message." <laughs> so she's like, <laughs> "She said you don't even know what I'm saying," but I already know you didn't send me no message, baby. So. <laughs> can already answer the question <laughs> so anyway which way she's just like you little smart tail you just <laughs> i said my bad baby i'm sorry for being right before you finish the question <laughs> so she gonna kill me when she watches <laughs> so, she's so sweet though she's so sweet i ain't used to it god she's so sweet anyway <laughs> oh man anyway <laughs> <laughs> palm tree, you palm tree. You want me to tell that story? <laughs> I want to tell it, but I don't know if I need to tell it live. I need to do it as a video, man. <laughs> so, we might need it. Palm tree, you just take me over there where you uh where you hunt a little bit. Let me shoot a doe. We'll tell it in the stand. <laughs> so, we we'll tell it in the blind. Oh man. So anyway, I gotta get off here. I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready to. Excuse me. Better ready for bed. So I'll be wide out of bushy tail for the ride tomorrow. Any which way, y'all know the deal. I hope you have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!